Hi folks, me the dog again. Just a follow on from the engine removal video. Which is now gone to its new owner by the way. Not the person who it was originally meant to go to. It turned out to be just a total time waster. But that's another story. Anyway. Today I'm going to be stripping the offside suspension components. After I've sorted the dog's bed out. He's the important one here. He's the brains of the operation. Keeps me right. I'll start by removing the drive shaft. Knock it back in. Pull into the engine bay there. But for some reason, the, the, the hole that it comes through just, it just seems to be a bit tight. So, a bit strange. moved onto the brakes instead. And as per usual, every mini, everything's seat solid. Not, not too fussy about taking um, how much damage it's caused or anything because most of the stuff I'd be getting either refurbished or replaced, whichever the case may be. It's all a learning curve. After all, I'm only a plumber. So bear with me. Best friends, WD for it. As I said, with the, the drive shaft, the, the, the hole that it goes through was a bit bent and twisted, so it was very, very tight to actually go through. But we got there in the end up. As I say, the CV boots are both busted anyway, and as I say, they'll all be either getting replaced or refurbished. Second hand shocker. If so, leave me a, leave me a message. You're more than welcome to it. solid.
the dog wants a bit of attention. That's the brake line that goes across the front end. Again, we'll be getting replaced, so I'm not particularly fussy about how it comes off. subframe out because the subframe's coming out as well so I'll just leave them in place for now and I'll get them out when the subframe comes out again if anybody's any useful tips on how to get them out without the BL special tool give us a shout I think it's time to take the dog out for a walk. And that was a quick one. <laughs> out the back in the front, made a quick brew. finish a cup of coffee. to strip. Another few cans of WD required and as you can see there's the bits that we took off. We'll salvage what we can and what we can't. We'll go in the bin. As you can see the CV boots were goosed. Shocker. Still plenty of life in it and the brakes will be getting stripped and refurbished. So, hope you enjoyed the wee video of the day. This side's next week. So, again, thanks for watching. Don't forget, like and subscribe. <laughs>